which is in the 1600s. People in the 1600s were very religious and believed in gods and devils, that the devils were bad and lived in hell in the ground, and gods were good and lived in the sky. Back then, over 400 years ago, people did not know about science and medicines. If something bad happened, like natural disasters, they blamed it on the devil. People thought that it wasn't the devil that did this, but witches that worked for him and that he told them to do bad things. If natural occurrence happened, like bad weather, failure of crops, illnesses or deaths, or even milk turning sour, then the people blamed it on the witches and the devil. At that time, the king was James I and he wanted to get rid of all the witches. So, he wrote a book in 1597 called Demonology, explaining what made a witch and how to spot them. Things according to James I's book that make someone a witch are usually a woman, old, have a pet, live alone, have problems, hold weird ceremonies in their gardens, make clay models or have birthmarks to feed their pet blood through. Uncle Matthew Hopkins was a witch hunter and wasn't a kind man. For every witch he killed, real or not, he got 20 shillings. Altogether he killed 300 witches. There were three tests to prove if someone was a witch, which was to put a needle in their birth mask. If it bled, they were innocent. If they did not feel any pain or no bleeding, they were a witch. The second test was to keep them awake for days, asking them questions until they finally owned up, just to be able to sleep, as they couldn't cope. The last test was to tie right hand to left toe and left hand to right toe and throw them into the river. If they drowned, they were innocent, but if they floated, they were guilty and were killed anyway. Witches were slowly killed, either by being burnt or by being hanged. Matthew Hopkins was accused for being a witch and failed the test, so was killed. <laughs>